Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brain TZT, and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to get T5 troops faster, or Tier 5 troops, whatever you want to call it. So, Tier 5 troops are these ones over here that are right after Tier 4. So, these are like one of the hardest things to work for in the game. It's pretty much the last thing that you ever get. So, it is going to take you forever if you're not a pay to win. Now, there's only a handful of people in my alliance that have T5. I think there's only one. There's there's another person that's like uh, a few weeks from getting T5, but we pretty much only have one person that has T5 troops. Now, that's kind of uh, sad because we've been... Our, I, I've been playing this game for 167 days, and I'm haven't even i barely made a dent into t5 now this has been just because it's starting to get quicker to be able to get t5 because t5 um it doesn't cost as much as you would think when you're lower down so i've been progressing a lot in this game so in order to get t5 i'm just going to show you you have to get every single technology maxed okay it's not just like you don't have to just get these max no you don't even have to get even these close. I mean, it's not like you have to get these close. It's you have to get every single technology at 10, even on the economic technology. So for pay to win, I mean, free to plays, this is going to take you forever. I'm sorry to say this. It's going to take you forever. Now, it's the resources aren't the problem. OK, so the resources are fine. You can you can gather all day. You can get about 10 million of each resource per day. And that's not that big of a problem. And you can just, you can get like the technology and the, the thing that you might be worrying about is um, gold. But if you think about it, you just can constantly gather gold and then just, because in total it's about 300 million gold to be able to get to C5. That's what I've heard. So if you think that gold's useless, it's really not. It's actually one of the most valuable things to get to T5. So another thing that you have to do is you have to upgrade every single building. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure you even have to get the castle to 25. So this is going to take you so many gems. Pay to it, free to plays. I'm not even sure that you're going to be able to see the day that you get T5. But, um, I mean, if you guys ever do get like a Apple gift card or something, then you guys need to get the, um, I get the fountain of wisdom so if you guys like ever get just some free money or something just like if you guys just like somehow just put it into fountain of wisdom because this will be the most beneficial to be able to get you to c5 also city of hope city of hope is also something and then the gems that you get from that from those bundles use it to gem your castle because it is going to take you forever okay castle Book of Covenants is going to, is a very rare item that you can only get like three per barbarian for it and 900 of them just to get from 17 to 18. Now you have to get to 25 and I heard that it's like a hundred thousand gems just to be able to gem it from like 24 to 25. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think it's somewhere around there. It's somewhere in between like 50,000 to a hundred thousand. So it's a, it's a lot. So another thing to be able to do when you're getting your technology, you guys need to ask for scientists. So the person that will be able to give you scientists, it's it's pretty much a buff that gives you 5% research. So um, it would be, if you go into Lost Temple, uh, there would be a um, titles. So your prime minister is a person that can give you your scientist, architect, duke, and justice. So... Um, Every time you guys want to upgrade something, ask for architect and then also ask for scientists every time you guys want to get something because it's completely free. They don't have to pay anything. All they have to do is just change titles to you and then just switch around the titles. Unless you're not allied with the people that um, have the Lost Temple, then uh, you're kind of out of luck there. But also get the runes. You want to get the 15% or 10%. Whatever it is, you just need to get runes when you're upgrading a... a uh, either a city or a a, a technology because it'll give because like when I got a rune and scientist it took about 10 days off of um uh off of my 60 day research and it's huge so 
you guys really need to get it to so that you guys can um uh so you guys can progress quicker so it's really helpful to be able to get those um things such as technology and also have your alliance set her up so that you guys can get the max amount of um help possible so that like it took like eight hours off per help so it was like 28 times eight it was it was a lot of days that were taken off just from people helping me so alliance center also very good to get um up so this was a very informational packed video hopefully you guys enjoyed this because i'm sure i helped a lot of you guys out to be able to get technology better and if i did help you out then please let me know in the description in the comments because i'd like to know um if i did help any of you guys out because that would be awesome and uh if you guys like rise of kingdoms and you guys are new here then make sure to subscribe because i do make da re daily rise of kingdoms videos um and who doesn't want daily tips on rise of kingdoms and i'll see you guys next time bye guys